sometime this summer, we, we, we anticipate that we're going to be reaching that level of uh, community immunity. Encouraging words today from our state's public health director, Dr. Tomas Aragon, as California will start allowing indoor concerts, theater performances, and other private gatherings starting April 15th. Thank you for joining us tonight on Crowd 4 News at 5, everybody. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Justine Waldman in for Vicki Liviakis tonight. This announcement is coming today as the rate of people testing positive for COVID-19 in our state nears a record low. Cron Force, Ashley Zavala is joining us now live from Sacramento with details on what's about to be changing. Good evening, Ashley. Good evening, Justine. Yeah, live performances, receptions, large gatherings, conferences, they can all resume April 15th under new rules the state released today. And capacity limits won't even matter solely on a county's tier system, but also whether guests have been vaccinated or tested. Well, we will continue to be cautious, science-driven, and step-by-step -step so that we can ensure that there is no changes to the broader environment. California's top health and economic officials Friday say they're giving the green light on gatherings and live events that have been prohibited now for more than a year. Starting April 15th, indoor live events will be allowed in red, orange, and yellow tiers. Capacity limits start at 10% in the red tier and increase depending on a county's tier status or if venues require proof of full vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test. Large venues will require proof of full vaccination or test for counties in the red tier, which currently encompasses most of California. Masks will be required for everyone, social distancing for some. Fully vaccinated sections that, that, that are separated off can sit shoulder to shoulder. So this is really critical because this is going to really be a pathway to allowing venues to really uh, fulfill, to meet the capacity limits that are currently in the, in the blueprint. Receptions and conferences can also begin with capacity limits based on tier status, whether it's indoor or outdoor, and whether proof of vaccination or test is required. And also really focusing on making sure that, that privacy is protected and that equity is, is, is protected. So that, that's what the state will be doing. The state itself does not plan to get into the business of doing this. Um, we're really going to leave that up to the private sector. Now, on top of today's announcement, state health officials said as early as next week, California could once again relax the rules on the state's blueprint for reopening, which would allow more counties to move to less restrictive tiers more easily. In order for that to happen, 4 million doses of the vaccine need to be distributed to the most vulnerable zip codes across the state. Dr. Tomas Aragon said that we're at 3.6 million as of today. Reporting live at the Department of Public Health, Ashley Zavala, Cron 4 News.